Hello fellow wet shavers, Leroy here, Nomeo Shaves back with another shaving video. How is everybody today? Today is um, Sunday night. <laughs> yeah, I worked today and yesterday. But, so I've got, when was, when was my last shave? Thursday, I think? So this is what, two, three days worth of growth right here. Um, I just wanted to kind of give my skin a little bit of time to relax and let some more fuzz grow in for tonight's shave. Now, I am continuing with the Wild West Shave Co. Uh, Appreciation Month, and tonight's shave is going to be with this. Yes, no label, so I will get to that here in a second. Uh, let's see here. Brush I have soaking is my Parasso Bore. Post Shave, Witch Hazel. I'm going with some Panade Clubman this time. I have not used this stuff for quite some time. It is classic classic scent and I do have a shit ton of menthol crystals in here all right now back to this soap so here is the book Ooh, focus here's the book of soap no label as you can see no label but it smells right and no label this is the cap so this is um, calamity Jane this is a more recent match so I have two what do you pucks tins snuff 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 jars of uh calamity jane the first one that i have i think was from the fir his first batch i believe uh please russell if you ever watch this video please correct, correct me if i'm wrong and this is from a re more recent batch um he threw it in a recent order for with uh the straights and stuff that, that they got home and i i think i prefer this one over the previous one um the previous batch was a bit more cherry forward this one is just more rounded out. It's beautiful. It, uh, it, it, the thing about Calamity Jane, if you look on the back, it says gambling and intrigue. That's the scent notes, <laughs> right? So basically it's uh, stuff he has left over and he just makes the soap out of it. And so each, it's, it varies, the scent will vary from batch to batch. So I, I think this is one of those, I think every so often I will get a new one just, or whenever he gets a new batch made up, I think I will get one of these because I, I really like this, this this scent profile. It's it, it does have some cherry in there. It's a little on the sweet side, uh, but it's not a gross sweet, not a sickly sweet. I don't know. It's got a little bit of everything, and it just smells great. Oh, I forgot to show you what I'm going to be shaving with tonight. Uh, you can probably tell from the thumbnail. All right, we're going with my real Japanese Kamasori. This is will be shave number two on it. Um, I just gave it a good stropping. I gave it like. A good 20 laps on the uh, canvas side and 20 on the leather. I don't know if that's good or not, but we're going to try. I have my uh, other Kamasori as a backup in case this don't cut it. Boom. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get lathering here. So I just squeeze out the brush a little bit. And we're just going to load off here. Ooh. I got stuff flinging all over the place. So yeah, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Like I said, this is Sunday night. Um, I didn't have any time off. I worked yesterday, I worked today. Yesterday was a little bit longer than today though. Uh, going pretty good. Yeah, I'm a little bit upset at the local guy. Um, if he would have told us all of the information last week, I probably wouldn't have had to come out here. Oh well, it's okay. Free trip. And it gives me a chance to get some tool time, you know, because the majority of my job is spent at my desk looking at logs, trying to figure out what the hell is going on and try to come up with a plan to fix it right for the guy. And it's cool to actually get out here in the field and see the problem firsthand and get your hands on and try to work through and try to fix it. That, that's, what, that's the part I really like about my job. But yeah, man, it's been raining pretty much the whole day here. Went to work this morning and it just started pouring on me. You know, and I got to carry my laptop in there with me. Whew. Scary. But yeah. Ah, uh, this smells good. Getting a little messy here. Yeah, I figured, you know, Russell does his own, uh, he's got some custom... Straight razors, one is a commissory, so I thought, you know what, tonight I'm going to do the commissory shave. 
I'm trying, I need to get better at it. Oh man, shoot, I need to put some water on my face here. Was it? Oh, Jimco, he just did a shave with some Wild West Shave Co. Soap too. Uh, Orange Blossom, I think it was. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. He did like a 10 second load. It was incredible. It's a good shave though, really good shave. Right. Yeah, my work schedule hasn't uh, allowed me any free time to meet up with some people. Old Jill, she shaves with Jill, she lives out this way. And then uh, Brown Man, he lives out this way too. But man, we're, I was gonna meet with Brown Man had to work. I haven't had a chance to ping uh, Jill yet. Sorry, Jill. Apologize. Working too much. Maybe I can get out tonight before I leave. I want to go get me some... Uh, I'm trying to find a place that serves grilled gator. Not the deep fried stuff. I want grilled. No, I've, I've had the um, the deep fried gator before, and it's good. It's actually really, really good. AC is loud. I was able to watch uh, Red Island Shaver today, too. He puts out good content. I like his videos. That is looking good. A little more water, maybe? Just paint a little bit of water in. What a nice and slick lather for this razor. Oop. Like, cool whip. Nice. I think we're good. And, crap, I forgot my tissues to wipe off the blade. One second. All right, we'll see if that works for me. Okay, here it is. First pass with the grain. This is Wild West Shave Co. Calamity Jane. I think you guys should give this stuff a shot. It's, it's, it's really nice. Man, I need to learn, I need to figure a way how to wrap this thing. Just make it a little bit easier to hold. Yeah, 
that's uh yeah, it needs to be honed. It needs to be honed. I think I messed up when I uh, stopped it. Shit. Dang it. Doesn't have a very good edge on it right now. Shit. I jacked up the edge. Shit. Uh, well, let me try the other side real quick. See how that one goes. You guys can't really see, can you? Let's see here. Well, I can't use this anymore. Damn it. I gotta get it honed. Shoot. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna use something that I haven't used in a while. <laughs> Focus Slim. It has a, uh, I believe it's a Permasharp blade in here. I don't know when the last time I used it was. I don't remember. It's been a while. A long while. Gotta practice with my left hand, you know? Apologize if the TV's too loud. Trying to get the highlights of the Broncos game. Before I set up my shade, they were down by a touchdown. It's not being televised out here. I'm playing the Niners today. These perma sharps are really good blades. Speaking of Jill, she's been doing a lot of videos on gem races. She's starting to get into the gems. That's pretty cool. I've tried a gem. Uh, it didn't work for me. So uh, the one that I have is a Micromatic Open Comb. Things pretty... Pretty, pretty aggressive. That's off. Awesome. 
Yeah, I've, I think I've used I used it twice. First time was an okay shave. Second time sliced the crap out of my skin. Oh my, out of my cheek. Whew. Not sure what happened. I don't know if one of the teeth caught me or if my the blade wasn't sitting properly, but man, it hurt like a mother. All right. Focus Slim AL Cross Grain. Hey, do you guys watch Michael Friedberg? Who? He, um... He posted a video today. He uses a... Using a CJB commissary. have a good shave so I think he needs to try different blades he used the uh, Kai pinks you might need to use the uh, professional supers you got some pretty uh, thick hair Feel bad for the guys. The thing about shavettes, I mean, it's a whole different ball game, right? You really have to figure out find a blade that works for your skin type and that razor. I seem to be a little quiet today, don't I? <laughs> Gets me a, a lot on my mind. So I want to get out of here too, you know. Nice. Oop, that's the Frank. The shark move. Speaking of the shark, I think it was yesterday. Shark is a Frank Schomburg, by the way. I don't think you have to ask why we call him the shark. <laughs> But uh, he had to go into the hospital and get a procedure done. Oh, that's good shape. He, um, they had to put an IV in him and, and inject some fluid, I think for the, uh, for the MRI or something like that. And uh, it broke and, he, and the, the fluid leaked into his arm and not, didn't go through his vein. And, it, and his hand all got all swollen up. So he did a shave edge shave with uh, he did a wet shave with, with just one hand. It was freaking incredible.
Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to talk to Rib recently. He's been really, really busy as well. I keep telling him we miss his videos. Miss his Costco stories. Good soap. Good soap. It's a good shape. Call that done. Cold water. Try to get the goodness out. Oh, not too much left over. Good scent. Like I said, there's a bit of cherry in there. I think there's some bourbon in there. Um, or maybe it's rum, one of the two. So sort of apple. Good shape, good shape. Couple of weepers, but it's okay. Not too bad for a razor I haven't used in a long time. white towel. Good thing it's not uh, my wife's. <laughs> oh, she'd get pissed. All right. Witch hazel. Menthol. Little tangle down here. So in case you're wondering, the uh, which hazel I use is Humphreys. I use the organic one, which is like a toner, so it's got some alcohol in it as well. And then I just add some menthol crystals to it. I let the menthol crystals soak in, um, I have some, the, is it 92 or 97% rubbing alcohol? So I just put a, so about a gram per 100 ml, one gram of crystals per 100 ml of um, of uh, liquid and in that particular case is almost 500 so I put five grams of, of menthol crystals in there and I let them soak in, in a little bit of um, the alcohol until they all absorbed then I poured it into the uh, witch hazel and it worked for a couple days and it got cold and then all my crystals solidified again oh, I was pissed just pissed all right so let it smell good going to bed tonight Yeah, a little bit right there. Oh yeah, it's gonna stink real good. So everybody, Christmas is coming up. We just had a uh, gift exchange in one of the Facebook, or kind of between a, some wet shavers. Uh, if you watch this, I hope you got your gift out, or if not, you got time, right? Christmas is coming up. But I hope you guys got your wish list together. My wife asked me for mine. She didn't want any shaving stuff on, on the wish list, so I don't know what I'm getting for Christmas now. Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> oh, uh, the bomb. Final one. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Like three weeks to Christmas? Not even? This year went by fast, people. Very fast, way too fast. Oh man, that was a good shave. I'm glad you guys joined me for this. Hopefully some of you stuck around after I put away the commissary. So bummed, man. I lost the edge on it. Ah, my fault. I don't, it's not, I've got a travel strop and it's not the best. Um, it's it's not sh not flat, so it's got because it was folded. Yeah, I, I, I know. 
not a good idea, right? And I tried to straighten it out, but it didn't quite straighten. So I, I think maybe I just messed it up when I was trying to strop it. Maybe I'll, I don't know, maybe I'll play around with it a little bit more. But I did try to use this tonight. I apologize. I had to finish the shave off with this Focus Slim AI. It's a great shaver, really awesome. I mean, loading the blades is a little bit tricky. You know, uh, there's a, if you guys go and look on Frank Schaumburg's website, he's got a uh, really awesome trick on how to cut the blades so that they fit in here really, really nice. So basically you cut them in half, or you, you break them in half, and then you break the tips off. And then it fits in here really, really nice. Um, and that, that's what I did like months ago. <laughs> I, I think that's the third or fourth shave on this and I can keep going. It, it was great. Uh, soap tonight was this uh, Wild West Shave Co. Uh, Gambling and Intrigue Soap. Calamity Jane. And here, here's the soap right there. Fantastic scent, you know, like I said, it's got some cherry in there. It's got some, I don't know if it's rum or, or bourbon, probably rum. And there's some other stuff, there. maybe a little bit of tobacco. It's a really, really pleasant scent. Very, very, very nice. And, it, and from batch to batch, it's slightly different, which is cool. I like that. <clears throat> so you kind of almost never know what you're gonna get. You have an idea what you're gonna get, but you really don't know. It's awesome. All right, everybody, that's it. I rambled on long enough. I uh, hope everybody has a great day. Um, my next shave, if I don't go home, will probably be Tuesday. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can go home Tuesday. Hopefully. All right. Keep your fingers crossed everybody that I can go home on, by Tuesday. Uh, if not, I will do another shave on Tuesday. Probably. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hey, thanks for joining me. I've had a couple of new subscribers this week, so I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I, I, I appreciate all you people. And the ones that comment, I appreciate you even a little bit more. Because <laughs> it's fun reading the comments and interacting with you all. So please comment below about anything, whatever you want. Ask me, ask me anything. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be about shaving. Ask whatever. I'm almost an open book. All right. So thanks again, everybody. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of the weekend, which is Sunday. I hope you all have a great week. And remember, as always, please do not text and drive. Take care.